Hello everybody, this is Farmer and welcome back to another video on this channel. Um, as you can already tell by the title, it's a DLC review. The Big Butt DLC review. But first off, um, look what map I am. Sounds familiar? I think so. This is Red Bridge Hills, guys. This, guy, this map is from Farming Simulator 15. And they did some few changes on this field uh, map. Oh my god. That's a field, uh, field right there, but um, yeah, they they brought it back to Farming Simulator 17 as a mod. It's on Mod Hub, you can download it straight away. But as you can see, I have already like some dots on the shop. So let's check out the shop, shall we? Because this is a DLC review instead of a map, re map review. But let's go and check out the shop. Now, as you can tell by the tire marks, I have been driven down here already to check out the DLC. But let's just turn around and check it yourself. Bam. Um, I think this is everything from the DLC. I'm not quite sure. But um, here, here they are. The big butt DLC. This is the biggest tractor uh, in the of the DLC. That one is just the same one, but that's just with uh, truck of wheels, as you can already tell. And this one is the smallest one. There are only two tractors and um, some other equipment. Now I'm going through them all. I'm trying to, and um, I have to like see what the info is from all these machines. So let me just go to the official website. There we go. And uh, then we can start up with the first tractor on the right hand side over here. So. Um, Let's go check it out. Okay, this one is the Big Butt 450. Um, it says he has 500 horsepower on the top right there. Um, so yeah, this is the Big Butt 450. As you can already tell over here, diesel power right there. Now, the cool thing about this thing, on, about this tractor is, or just this DLC, is just these tractors. As you can already tell, you can see the ventilator, like the radiator right there. And if I start a rub. Can see it spinning now the interior is just like this um, it's like old kind of um, sadly oh that's quite nice I just see that take an eye on that um, on the fuel pump thing it says full one slash two and then low if I lower it if I, I mean shut down the engine right now you can see it's low so the, the yeah the dashboard is not that working, only just uh, the digital the digital um, display right there. For the rest, it's like the thermometers and all that stuff, it's not, not be working. There we got the, the hydraulics. And I think that must be the shifter, I think. Forward, neutral, and reverse, yeah. Right. It got a capacity of 20,000, wait, whoa, whoa. 20,000 that's that's a little bit too much it got a, a capacity of 2080 liters of diesel which is good really good big butt DLC oh my god I'm so stoked this right here is the big butt 747 it got a about 1100 horsepower it says right here silver series Detroit hmm. as you can see you can actually buy this with options through um, um, you can buy this with uh, the options and upgrades, which is twin wheels, triple wheels, which adds 24,000 euros again with. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the, the cost of the tractor is $405,000 for the 747, and then for the 450, it's 225000 There's no upgrades available for this tractor, so only available, uh, available upgrades is for this tractor right here. And some other implements which I will go uh, do a walkthrough through it for you guys. But um, this is the Big Bud DLC with uh, one 1100 horsepower. Um, same thing as this one, just quite bigger, as you can already tell. Um, yeah. Just start it up. You can see that radiator spinning in there. Which is quite nice. Um, for indicators and lights, as you can see, that those are the lights. The indicators is only on the front, right here. On the back, there's no indicators signal, so only on the front. 
Yeah, there we go. For the interior, just the same as the previous one. Just only, uh, not sure where the gas thing is, but um, yeah. Some other hydraulics right there to uh, control the rear hitch, I think. Because this one has no front hitch, of course. But yeah, I think it, that's a camera right here. Uh, is that a camera? I wish there was like an option in this game to like watch the rear. That's quite nice. Um, yeah, this one is just the same one with triple wheels, as you can already see. I'm not going to alter this because it's just the same as that one. Over here, we have a print manure spreader, which is um, from Brogert, type EV2000, yeah, 2200-120 WR. It's a manure spreader. It got a 4 actual one. Um, I'm not sure what the capacity is. Let me see. That's my phone again. Um, required power for this manure, manure spreader is 500 horsepower. The working width is 15 meters. Capacity is 70,000 liters. Now, the cost of this thing is, um, let me see, $198,000 or euros. Capacity is 70,000 liters, 15 meters uh, working width. And yeah, that's that. The next one is this huge plow, which is the biggest plow of this pack, of course. Um, this one is a Great Gwar, I don't know how to call it, Bezon, Bison. Um, it got a working width of 10 meters and a half. Um, <coughs> it uh, type is SPLS, wait, SPSL. Nine. This is obviously a plow. Now there should be a drilled version of that thing for the plow, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, there is a drilled lifter, which is this one right here. I didn't buy this one. Let's just buy it right now. Um, it should spawn here somewhere. Um, let me see where it spawned. Oh, there you go. It's right here. So yeah, this one. This is what you need for the plow trail lifter I think I think that's what you need for it great gray gore bezin trail lifter but yeah that's that um, yeah the next one is this right here um, this one is a Hudson the Hudson Bilger Terminator TH18 this one is a sewing machine it's gonna tell by the hoses and all that stuff and by the things over here. This is a sewing machine. It requires um, 450 horsepower. And it's a working width of 18 meters. And yeah, you can actually get this through the, the sewing machines category in the shop. The price of this thing. Oh yeah, let me check first the plow price. The plow goes for $130,000. Another $50,000 for the trail lifter. For the sewing machine. The Terminator 2, the Terminator, the, oh my god, Terminator TH18 goes for 212,000 euros or dollars. So, um, yeah, that's that implement. Um, this one is the Seat Hawk 980 um, air, air card. It's also in a category of sewing machines. It requires, oh, it doesn't require anything. It's the only capacity of this thing is. 3,400, no wait, 34,500 liters. Um, if I go through here, you can buy this thing for um, 185,000 euros. Um, yeah. It's an air card. You can actually buy some upgrades for this thing or options. It's a rear twin wheels and it's a standard. So for another rear twin wheels, it's another $5,000. So it's total price of one. Ninety thousand dollars. The next thing is this green machine here, which is the the Green Plains YP two four two five A. You can see it attached to other equipment. It's the Aggo six fifty or the SB seven hundred right there. Um, the working width is eighteen meters, eighteen dot two meters. It requires two hundred eighty horsepower. The capacity is five hundred, five thousand eight hundred. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, this one right here is an Halsey Butcher. 
um, TH 1400 98,000 euros capacity is 14,000 liter um, as you can see it requires to the Terminator TH 18 which is um, that red thing right there then over here we have the this little thing I mean little it's actually a subsoiler um, if we go to cultivators it's this one right here the cultiplow platinum 8 meters it's 8 meters wide, of course, it says in the name. It requires 420 year horsepower. And yeah, there's no upgrades available for this thing. 82,000 euros for this machine. Next plow, or I mean cultivator, it's um, this Betnar. Oh yeah, the, the, the this fan is Agrism, Agrism International. It's a weird name. But this cultivator right here is the Betnar Swifter SM18000. It requires um, 500 horsepower. It's 18.2 meters wide. Um, the price is 120,000 euros. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this thing. The next thing is this gray one right here. I almost missed it. As you can see, it's huge, really huge. Guess how much meter it is, guys. Guess how much meter? meter. Should this be bigger than the yellow ones? I think so too. Let's check it out how much how long this thing is. This is the Flexi Coil ST820. And Oh my god. Can you see the difference? 24 meters, guys. 24 meters. This thing is wild. Let's just attach this real quick to one of our tractors. How much requires it? 500. Okay. Go ahead. Let me lower down the volume, of course, of my TV first of all, and maybe of the game as well. Maybe I will do. Yeah, let me do this real quick. There we go. That's a lot quieter. Um. Now I have parked actually that this thing in the way over here. So if I now sell this real quick, let me just sell this right now. Oh my god, it's, it's close. Now as you can already tell, it is so big that it actually might need two roads. <coughs> we will drive down to the farm uh, and open it open over there. Now this um, tractor has a capacity of 4,000, almost 4,000 liter of fuel, which is actually pretty cool. I'm looking forward to do some um, videos with these machines. I'm not sure if I should do like an episode on the map. I feel like to actually, oh that's so close to the pipe right there. But I feel like <coughs> to maybe um, do some episodes on the American Outback. Because this, my, I mean, this map is also good, but I've played on this map on Farming Simulator 15 already, so I want to change it up. Now that roundabout kind of over the tree or something is actually new here. But that that will say, um, I will do probably American Outback series with these big blood DLC. <coughs> but I'm not sure with that actually, to be honest. Uh, I might also buy the Cum pack, so um, yeah, look forward to that, guys. But here we are. Let's see. Let's open this thing. I'm sorry about the uh, sirens right there. It's uh, an ambulance that wants to pass the street or my house. But that's it, guys. There is the that is the cultivator, the 24 meters cultivator. It's really, really big. Now I think we ha may have a plowed field that needs to be cultivated, so I can so you guys can see it while it's using. Oh, <laughs> let's see, growing, plowed, field 14 is harvest, or field 21 too, so let's go to field 14, I gotta buy this one though, there we go, we bought it, alright, <coughs> let's hold it back up, and I will see you guys at field 14, right, now I've already tried it, 
that um it didn't save the clip fortunately so um i'm doing it again right now but um anyway let's see now while i was actually doing this lane right there the the elevator was like kind of curved you will see it in a second i think um i don't know if it will do it here i think it will let's see if i can actually do something with my things with a joystick but i can't i'll put it on high worker for now let's see what it does yeah that's what i mean like i mean i don't know i think it's that's i think that's normal because this this is a powerful the the powers i mean the the powers fills the um, tractor from the big bud dlc so yeah but yeah guys that's it um here you see it working 24 meters of the cultivator um i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a like um if you wonder how much this dlc costs it's um 14.99 euros aka dollars or whatever it is where you live um you can order this or buy this in the PS PlayStation Store if you are on PlayStation, the Xbox Store if you are on Xbox, and obviously on the Farming Simulator official website on the PC. Um, but uh, if you have it on, if you bought it on the PS PS4 or the the Xbox, you don't have to download it. It actually downloads in the place or in the store itself, um, so you don't have to worry about it. Then you can play straight away. You just have to buy the machines that you want. And um, yeah. Comment what you think about this uh, DLC I would say. And I will see you guys. In the next DLC review. Thanks guys for watching. And yeah. See you.